Hello and welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi. In this video, we are going to explore advanced filters and sorting in DST5 for finance and operation. Of recording, I am working on 10.0.39 version of DST5 for finance and operations, right? And I am on, I am using Contoso Data USMF legal entity is account receivables orders all orders. I found all the sale orders available in this legal entity are here without any criteria. Normally, what we do when we go to apply a filter, we apply filters here or click on a grid, and here we have options. Begin with contains is exactly is one of them is one of them when that we have multiple sale order numbers with a comma separated we can use is one of them so this is the normal behavior but in advanced where advanced filters and sorting we have more flexibility that we can even add uh, custom uh, we can add filters on same tables uh, you can see without any adding anything we have a worker and pupil and we we can apply filters returns for example the return status is not cancelled or is created for a sorting like that all the sale orders will be in ascending order with the sale order number so we have ascending criteria is here now we are going to add a custom join on it for example if i click on a join and click here on a sale order we have option to show details when this when we click on this you can see the relationship that more details start to be appear on a which field the relationship is for this demonstration i am going to create a query uh, for example i the grid shows all the sale orders which belong to a certain customer that are on hold for this i am going to customer table customer invoice customer and customer with the order customer so i am selecting this customer order i select this row and here is the select button so i click on it there is another join is appeared here that now we have a customer sale orders and a customer so if i go back to a range and i click on add i click on this drop down and here is also customer is available I select that customer drive table is also customer and field I am going to select account status right and if I click here I have two options hold and open I select the hold and oh, click on ok so now if you see that I have all the sale records some have us invoice status and some are delivered and there, those are belong to one so all those records are belong to customer us 0117 right and if i click on this customer edit and collections it is on hold status thank you for watching see you in another video